Hello my gorgeous people, and welcome to the Calico Kid Play Shuffle Knight. I absolutely adore this game. I think it's super fun. So we're gonna start a new adventure. I'm gonna name my file... Uh, L. Bloopleton. And... We're gonna start. Bloopleton, file one, let's go. Yes. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. And Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shovel Knight, Shield Knight, was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by the vile power, the Enchantress, and her order of no quarter. Now the tower is unsealed, and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. So like I said, I love this game. When I first saw... When I first heard about it, I didn't think it looked like anything special. It just looked like another retro platformer. But it was on sale one day on the 3DS, so I bought it. And to say I was pleasantly surprised is an understatement. This game made me fall in love with it hard. Yay, gold. Um, I just, the art style is awesome, the music's awesome, the combat, the platforming controls, just this game is so well made, it's unbelievable. Bubble! Got a checkpoint here. And this is one of my favorite parts about the game. His duck is absolutely useless. I think that is hilarious. Die! Oh shit, nope. So this first level, like most games, it's just teaching you the different controls and I- it's super effective. Like the things they throw at you are never too hard but they're still challenging enough. And I know it's been done how many times, but I just think it's done really well. I know some people complain about the lengths of these levels, that they're too long, but they're fine with me, like... Honestly, I don't think any of them say, Oops! I don't think any of them overstay their welcome. Oh shit, that was dumb of me. Come here, skelly man. Yeah. Let's see what sort of secrets. I never... I was gonna try to 100% this game. And I got about, I don't know, 60% of the way, but I'm just not a completionist. So it didn't hold my interest very well. I have beaten it multiple times, probably two or three times. I never finished the um, Plague of Shadows DLC, but that's on my list to do someday. One thing you'll notice about me is, I have a problem of getting too many games and then not finishing them. 
Which is partly why I started this channel. I thought it would be good motivation to actually play the games I spend money on. I love collecting gold! But that's... My personal reason for starting this channel isn't super important, I guess. All that matters is that you're entertained and you choose to spend your time with me. Die. I actually kind of proud of myself for that one. I didn't know you could... And then I ruin it by failing. There you go. So how are you guys today? I'm actually pretty good today. I'm just mostly happy I didn't have to work a double. Just one job today. Tomorrow's gonna suck, but whatever. <coughs> if my voice sounds a little weak, that's probably because I have work today. I was. I, I might have been singing a little too much meatloaf. I was having fun. Me loves the best closing music because it's just so corny and entertaining. I haven't played this yet on the PS4 on a big TV. I'm, I am now, I guess, but like, it really makes the pixel-y, the pixel aspect of the pixel art stand out. It looks really cool, actually, because on the 3DS, the screen's so small, it just kind of blends together real well, and you don't notice it. But with this, you can actually see the jaggedness of the pixels, and I, I think I actually prefer it that way. No! No! You son of a bitch. Got some bloops down there, those guys always trip me up. I just stop and get this. I will collect as much gold as I possibly can in this game. Not only because it's important for the game, but it just feels so damn good to do it. It is super satisfying. Just like crushing all of these blocks. I guess. That's really the important thing about this game, and most games in general, as long as they're satisfying. And I think this game for sure nails the satisfaction aspect very well. There are other games I can think that make me feel as satisfied playing it, um, but for re weird reasons too, like, for some reason, the combat of Chrono Trigger is satisfying, but not super satisfying, but the sound effects of all the attacks are super satisfying to me. They're just... Not even iconic, because I never played them as a kid. Nope. Boss. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later. The Cerulean Coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress! Enter invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me! Steal I shovel! <laughs> Ah, get back, you son of a bitch. Oh, he has kicked my ass so far. Son of a bitch. No oh, shit. Shit. I really love the boss fights. Son of a bitch in this game. 
because while they have their set attacks, they don't necessarily have a pattern you can memorize. Come on, shoot at me. No! Damn it. Okay, well, let's try that again. I like that castle in the background, that's super castlevania -y. Okay. I'm actually gonna do better this time, but then I fucked it up. Die, die. Ooh, shit. There you go, take that. I'm actually, eh. I'm not super embarrassed I lost to him the first time. With no power-ups, this boss isn't the easiest thing I've ever done. Woot! Look at all that gold, guys. And he runs away like a little bitch. Now I'm gonna take a little snooze by the bonfire. What a peaceful little dream we're gonna have. Oh. oh no, it's our girlfriend. She's falling to her death. Maybe this dream isn't so peaceful. There we go, back to another day of shoveling. Only you, oh. I remember that, that's fucking adorable. Well, we cleared the tutorial stage. Let's go to town quick. Halt, no weapons. We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around. Oh, haha, -ha. that's no weapon, just a shovel. You may enter then, and don't forget, press up to talk to everyone. I'm not gonna do that, dude. Hi, dear lady. Hi, horse lady. We'll stop and talk to the bard quick. Right. If you want to read what he has to say, you can pause the video, or I suggest just playing the game. I, I just want what he gives me. I didn't get a card. So, we're gonna go down here first. Get some more stuff. Secret in there. Hey, Show Knight, I know things are tough, but don't throw in the trowel. <laughs> Puns. There's Chester, I don't think I need anything from him right now. I am gonna get the two high core blasts. Because they are actually very useful. Okay, and while I remember. Single. I want this to be some old bitch. Square. Um. Attack. I'm going to make. No, actually, I want to make this triangle. That might help. Because I get. Sorry. This is boring admin stuff, I know. I get my controls mixed up sometimes. Ooh, this that Spectre Knight. If somehow if someone could defeat him, I would bestow upon him my greatest treasure. Good to know. Let's talk to the king here. Oh woe is me! The king of nothing, not to rule but my lone bar stool. King Knight sits on Pride Morn's throne, that gilded goon. He'll get his soon. That took me way too long to realize what that word said. I promise, I can read. Gotician? Ah, oh, decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magic or health, or just eat a tin can? Why not buy a meal ticket and narrow the options? Yes, I will. A thousand, of course. 
I'll talk to you. Want more use out of your relics? Oh yes, of course. And uh, could I increase your maximum magic? Good. I'll increase my magic too. I'll talk to this guy real quick. There we go. Yay. Okay. Fuck your shit. Come back here. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you get, kid. Gonna we'll hop on this lady's shoulders to get the stuff up here. Got some more treasure. A music sheet. Okay, we'll stop at the Tropical King and I think that'll do it for today. He'll give us some delicious eye core. Hey buddy, talk to me. Who has awakened me? Mortal, dost thy need aid? Aid me! I sense a truffle chalice. I can fill it with magical icor. That's pronounced icor. Choose your icor wisely. I want health and gold. Because that's good for getting treasure bags. Sorry when they fall in inconvenient places. You know, personally, I... I like the little Troubles. They're cute. The Trouble King just kinda looks like... a weird penis. Honestly to me, I like his little leaf fin, but I always thought this part went on a little too long for my liking It's cute, I guess, but I also just don't want to sit here and watch it to be honest <laughs> Yeah, I got my eye cores Fairly well shoveled knight Return if thou hast need of my aid again. Oh no, I fell, I died. Bluepleton. Don't sully our waters with thy filthy body. Next time I won't be so merciful. Oh really? Is that true? Take this! Oh, I died again. I thought you said you weren't going to be so merciful. Well, okay. I think that's going to do it for this episode. If you liked it, you know the usual YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe if you want. Other than that, um, thanks for spending some time with me, guys. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next episode.